this morning. Great morning to you too, my niece. Amen. Bless God. Hallelujah. Thank God for you all this morning. God bless you. Thank God for all of our callers who are on our dialing line this morning. Thank God for our Facebook family. We praise God for you this morning. Let's get our likes and shares, our kingdom blessings to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's get our likes and shares done and we'll be ready to get rolling. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Tanja. Bless you, my sister. Bless you, my sister. That's my real sister, y'all. Hallelujah. My real sister. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Good morning. Good morning, Minister Jessica. How you doing? Minister Fluellen. Praise God for you. Thank you all. Man, I'm still flying high, man. I'm just kind of high. Good morning, bro. Hey, my big bro. How you doing? All right. I'm not just talking. I'm sharing, y'all. I'm sharing. Y'all share the broadcast. Share the broadcast. Um, share the broadcast. Share the broadcast. Because I got a critical question for you today. Hallelujah. I got a critical question for you today. Hallelujah. Yes, let me share it to my Chilton County family because we're coming to Chilton County in short order. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. God bless you all, man. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Boy, I tell you, hallelujah. God bless you today. Hallelujah. Ah. Hey, well, listen, welcome to another wonderful session of Inspire AM. Uh, we praise God for you being with us. Uh, we thank God for you joining us this morning. Man, we're super excited about what God is doing in your lives. Um, we're super excited about what the Father has commanded to be so. Hallelujah. What he has commanded to be so in your life. And man, we are, we're, just, we're just blessed to be with you this morning and uh, super excited. Um, man, I don't know what in the world. I tell you what. Well, I tell you, the enemy has a way um, of trying to aggravate you. But God is good. Um, God is good. God is good. God is good. God is good. Hallelujah. All right. Let's get ready to get into some word this morning. I'm super excited about what God is doing. Super excited about um, um, just what he, what he has uh, purposed in our lives um, today. And so today, um, as we have been talking about yesterday, we began to talk about uh, Simtat Torah, Simkat Torah, which is about us and the word. It's about us and the word, the kingdom and the word. And so what we wanted to do yesterday was to reiterate to you that you can find rest in the word of God. You can trust God at his, you can take him at his word and trust him for his word. And so I'm super excited today. Um, my computer just decided to go crazy again, um, so we'll 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 get ourselves uh, going here in just a second. Um, um, but I wanna I want to uh, I want to um, 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 to to ask you today: um, Are you hungry? Are you hungry? What's your diet like? Um, I know one of the toughest things because really, and and, I'm, and I can be honest about this confession. Um, most of you who, who know me intimately, I'm kind of an artistic guy. Uh, uh, I'm a poet at, at heart. Um, I'm, I'm a writer at heart. And, um, and sometimes people who are very creative lack discipline. So discipline in my life is a challenge. It really is. It is a challenge for me in my life. I have to, I have to work to stay on schedule. 
Because I'm one of those people I wake up in the morning and say, I ain't going to work today. I'm one of those people who wake up in the morning and say, well, I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to do this today. And I've kind of had to had to get up off myself a little bit um, and, and not beat myself to death, but to always learn how to refocus. Good morning, Overseer Harris, my daughter. Love you, girl. Um, so I've had to learn how to, how to, how to, um, how to get up off myself uh, sometimes and not condemn myself for my natural, but to learn how to work from a spiritual perspective to get myself to where I need to be. And so I'm the type of person to where it's hard. I don't know. Listen, can I be honest with you? I don't know how I survived 22 years in the military because I hate that regimented that regiment, but listen, it brought a discipline to my life and helped retrain me and refocus me. And so when it comes to the word of God, um, as we are talking in this month of T-Shree, uh, let me let me work us down from the year being the year 5780, which is the year of the mouth. It's represented in the tetra and in, in, uh, in grammation as a mouth. It, 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 it is the symbol. The Jewish symbol for this year is a mouth, which means it's what's spoken. It's what's in your mouth. And so so um, so um, so so when we talk about this, um, um, um. Um, uh, this year of 5780, your mouth, your mouth is going to be important. So what you say from your mouth and what you share from your mouth is going to be important. So, so watch this. Not only is this important for this, for this, for this year, but watch this. This is going to be important for you for the next Decade, and I've been doing some research, and your mouth is so important because the Hebrew years of 5780 to 5789 are the decade of declaration. What you say from your mouth is going to manifest in your life. And so what we've got to we've got to make sure of is that we've got the right things in our mouths which are connected to our hearts. Hallelujah. So 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 as we were talking yesterday. You can trust God for his word. Remember, we gave you Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to thine own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. So if you're lacking direction, then you need to back up to trust and what's in your heart. And what's in your heart is going to be what you speak from your lips. And what you speak from your lips is going to begin to affect your direction. Your mouth makes a difference. Your mouth makes a a difference. Your listen. Let me say it again. Your mouth makes a difference. And so, what you've got to understand today, and what I want to ask you today is: Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Are, are you hungry? What 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 is your diet like? Now, I was I was talking to um and and I want I want you to write down three things for me, Minister Martha. I want you to write down three words: ingestion, ingestion. Second word, digestion. Hallelujah. Second word, digestion. And the third word is utilization. Ingestion, digestion, and utilization. Oh, God. Write these three words from Minister Martha. Ingestion, digestion, and utilization. Utilization. Ingestion, digestion, and utilization. Now, what I've just given you, um, a, 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 and I was talking to to one of my, my, my workout advisors. This brother shares with me, uh, Cap Summers. Let me shout out Cap Summers this morning. And we were talking the other day about how we should eat and to eat healthy and to get the maximum input out of the food you put into your body. And one of the things that Cap was teaching me and brother EJ um, at the gym was teaching me in our discussion was uh, what you put into your body. Yeah, and brother, brother Jack too. What you put into your body will affect the health of your body. So watch this. Most of our issue in the natural is diet. Come on. It's what we're eating, how we're eating, when we're eating. And because we don't understand process, we tend to gain more fat than lean muscle. Mm, come on, somebody. I'm talking natural for a second, but you're going to see this in the spiritual because just like you have a natural diet, you need to develop your spiritual diet. See, many of us watch this. Many of us 
feast on foolishness all day long. Help me, Jesus. I feel like preaching. Many of us feast on foolishness all day long, and then we expect that when a crisis comes, we're going to have faith. No, 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 no. You've been feasting on foolishness. You've watched all the silly Facebook posts. You watched everything about everybody else. You watched every pastor that got in trouble. You watched every other believer that got in trouble. And then when crisis came to your life, you didn't have any word to stand on. Why? Because you kept your mouth, your eye, your attitudes, your desires focused on the wrong things. What are you ingesting? digesting and then utilizing what cap taught me in the natural and i'm going to get to this in just a moment i'm going to get to some scripture in just a moment so stay with me don't don't panic i'm a, i'm going to show you in the word i'm going to show you in the word that you got to have the word in your mouth watch this mm -mm -mm. as a matter of fact go ahead and and write down for me minister martha romans 10 and 8 Romans 10 and 8. And you can give me the context of Romans 10, 1 through 11. Romans 10, 1 through 11. But we want to go to Romans 10 and 8 because I want to show you a principle that is so very important. Hallelujah. Where the word resides, there will be an, a, a residual imp, uh, impact and a residual effect. Watch this. Cap taught me that first of all, ingesting is the eating process. It happens at the mouth. You have to learn. You have to understand that what you put into your mouth affects everything in your in your body. Um, everything, everything. Listen, watch this. Watch this. And I'm 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 gonna go up to a certain place for a second. Watch this. Do you know that it used to take a, a good little stretch of time to grow a chicken and get it to market, or grow a cow and get it to market? In other words, the animal world, natural natural eating by grass, the growth process is slower than if you add all of these growth hormones. Now watch this. The, the industry began to understand that to keep up with the demand of the people and population growth, watch this, they would put more growth hormones into our food to help us get more food, more meat to market faster. Watch this, but here's the danger. Everything you put in that cow ends up in your body. Everything you put in that chicken to make it grow faster ends up in your body. Now watch this. If you if you put that growth hormone in that meat to make it grow faster, and watch this, and we were talking about, watch this, how you eat um, a rare steak or a medium rare steak. Watch this. You're not even, it's not even cooked enough to kill off all of the additives. So what you're doing is taking all those toxins that make that cow grow to that big muscular statue to get you a bigger cut of beef and you're not putting that in your body and you expect yourself to lose weight. That ain't happening because you just ate a whole pound of growth hormone. You just ate all this stuff that's going to make your body move faster. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Why do you think our children are coming into puberty so much faster now? They're coming in earlier because we're pumping them for the foods with additives and growth hormones. Watch this. So what's in your diet in the ingestion part of your process has to come through the digestion part of your belly. Watch this. And then after it comes through the digestion part of your belly, it flows out into your blood system and is utilized in the cells of your body to either cause you to gain fat or, 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 or to be used. It's going to cause you to be energetic or sluggish or whatever, depending upon how you eat. So you ingest first, you digest, and then you utilize. Let's go spiritual. Listen, if you don't have any word that you're eating of, watch this, and you don't digest it, then you can never utilize it. Come on, somebody. If you don't ingest it and digest it, you can never utilize it. Here it is. Paul says in Romans 10, 8, watch this. Now, he's talking about salvation. He's talking about salvation. But watch this. He says in Romans 8, he says, but what saith it? Watch this. The word is navi, so it's close to thee. It's in proximity. So watch this. Every time you go to church, Every time you, you encounter another believer that's full of word, every time a non-saved person encounters a person who has the word, it is navi. Now watch this. This word navi, watch this, it means to be in it, it means to be near or in place. In other words, it's it's really a it's really a word of location. It's a it's an adverb. Mm. 
It's an adverb that gives you a position. It's close to you. It, it means it, it. It means it's 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 in your it's in your atmosphere. Mm. It's in your atmosphere. But watch this. Let me tell you this. It's not good enough just to have the word in your atmosphere. Cause watch this. It's a lot of folks that's got word in their atmosphere, but that's that's but they never really ingest it. See, watch this. You got to eat of what you're taught. That's why it's dangerous. Facebook has created some monsters because we eat from so many tables. We ingest in word that's not for us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Watch this. You be like my dad and my dad and my dad, my father. Here, yeah, I think he has either sugar diabetes or high blood pressure or something. But he's not supposed to have a whole lot of sweets. So what he'll do is he'll eat him two slices of cake and then go take a pill. Ah! Watch this. Watch this. Some of us do that same thing spiritually. We try to eat a whole bunch of junk and then try to go get one burst and think that's going to make us feel better. Uh-uh. You ingesting the wrong thing. So just being naughty is not enough. That's a step in the process. Because you got to get to the table in order to eat. You got to get close to the word in order to eat of it. So it's naughty. It's in your proximity. But watch this. He says, now it's even in thy mouth. Hallelujah. What does it mean? Even in thy mouth. Watch this. It's not just near me now. Mm. It's not just near me now. Help me, Holy Ghost. It, but, but now, watch this. I've got to now get it into me. I've got to get it into my being. So I've got to ingest it. I can't just watch this. It, see, see, some of us coming to church is like going to a buffet and only going to the dessert table. Let me say this again. For some of us, church is like coming to a full buffet and only going to the dessert table. We only want the part that makes us feel good. We only want the sweet parts. We only want the parts to tell us what God's going to do for us, but never say what God can do through us, what God requires of us. We only want the dessert table. We only want the chocolate mousse and the brownie and the whipped cream, but baby, we want to skip the vegetables. We want to skip the broccoli. We want to skip the good corn. We want to skip the green beans. We want to skip the salad bar. We want to skip everything else. We certainly don't want the meat. We don't want the meat of the word. We only want the milk of the word. And so for some of us, coming to church is like going to a buffet and only eating from the dessert table. We only want what's going to make us feel good. Ah, Jesus. We don't want that well-rounded meal. So, so watch this so the digestion can take place properly. He says, it's naughty. It's in your proximity. And now it's in your mouth. And then watch this. He says, now watch this. It's in your heart. It's in your innermost being now. It's in your cardia. It's now in the digestive part of it. Because watch this. Whatsoever a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. If you don't have what's the word down inside of you, watch this. Watch this. If you don't have recall of the word without a Bible, you haven't truly digested it. You've got to learn how to have some recall and reassurance of the word without a Bible. I'm not saying you're going to memorize everything word for word, but there ought to be some place where your soul can pull up, watch this, a reassurance based on some word that you've eaten of. When you can't pull your Bible out and go to pre preaching and prophesying to folk. When you can't pull the, the physical Bible out, but you still got a word in you. Listen, you got to get some word in you. It's got to move from your mouth. What, 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 from your proximity to your mouth, to your heart. It's got to be a word of faith. Watch this. Now, this is the key to salvation. He says, watch this. He says, the word has to abide and it has to become a part of your real system of conviction. Because watch this. When the crisis come, watch this. What are you going to utilize? See, the process is ingestion, digestion, and now utilization. Can we get any word out of you? See, it's got to go into you. You've got to internalize it and then how know how to use it afterwards. Listen, some of us, watch this, are spiritually obese. Ah, Jesus. 
Watch this. Some of us are spiritually obese. Because watch this. We come in, we eat, 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 we ingest, ingest, ingest. We 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 digest it, we get it into us, but we won't share it with nobody. We won't share it with anyone. We won't share a word with a friend. I don't want them to think I'm I'm a holy roller. Listen, you can share the word without quoting a, a chapter and verse. You, you can share the word. Listen, and if, watch this. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. And if they don't know you're a holy roller already, something's already wrong. Maybe you're becoming more like the world than, treating, than, than, than leading the world to Christ. Are you hungry? What's you eating of? Ingestion, digestion, and utilization. You've got to get this word in you. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. You, you listen. You, you, you got to get this word in you, and we got to get it in us in such a way. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. The word of God says. Let me, let me, let me find this reference. Out. This in my spirit. Um, 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 um. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, um, um. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Let me see. Here it is. Uh, I want I want to get this word to you real quick. I want to get this word to you because you got to understand your diet's got to get right. We got to get our diet right, y'all. We got to get our diet right, y'all. We got to make sure we're eating the right things. Watch this. Watch this. Um. 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 I think it's Matthew. Um, maybe Matthew 5. Let me see if I can find it real quick. I want to give you this verse. Matthew 5. Watch this. Uh, Matthew, Matthew 5. Uh, yeah, that is. Yeah, that is. Matthew 5, verse 6. It's in the Beatitudes. Matthew 5 and verse 6. Watch this. He says, blessed are they. Matthew 5, verse 6. Blessed are they that do hunger and thirst. Watch this. After righteousness, for they shall be filled. Now watch this. Watch this. You got to see this. Right. What is righteousness in this sense? It means that you're in a condition that's acceptable to God. You're in right standing with him. But watch this. It comes through doctrine and how you live. So watch this. This verse actually goes from ingestion to utilization. It go, righteousness is how you're living. It's a position you're in, but it's how you're living. It's your integrity. It's your virtue. It's your purity of life. But between the utilization and the hunger and the thirsting, the eating of the word, guess what you're going to get? Digestion. You got to get it into you, people of God. We got to get it into us. Watch this. To be hungry. Watch this. It means to want a thing. To crave it. You got to crave the word. To thirst for a thing means that watch this. It, you see it as refreshing to your soul. Watch this. It means you have to thirst for it painfully. You got to want the word so much to the aches and pains. Have you ever watched this? We, we were talking last night. We were in a concert session with one of our sons and daughters. And we were talking about, about eating, as a matter of fact. We were talking about what we're going to eat for dinner. And we started talking about how your stomach growls. Watch this. Can I ask you this question? When, when you get real hungry, does your stomach cramp? Does your stomach growl? Do you feel a hunger to eat? And then your body sends a signal that, listen, it's time to eat. You got your stomach bubbling. It's grumbling. Sometimes our stomach be growling so loud other folk external to us can hear it. Uh, we we, 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 <laughs> we, we would watch this. We were, we were, we were riding the other day when we were hungry was the leader and I thank God for my glory watch this and I was like was, was that your stomach it was hungry it was hungry so I could hear her stomach juices craving food because she was hungry in the natural watch this watch this some of us walk around and live our lives the same way emotionally and spiritually we grumble we're grinding because we're hungry and you know what we think we can feed ourselves with other people the opinions of men support of other people you need to feed yourself on the word because if you feed yourself on the word the bible says thou shalt be filled ah uh, you'll be filled and this word filled means to be in a state of satisfaction You'll be satisfied to feel and to satisfy yourself on the word. What's your diet like? Ingestion, digestion, utilization. 
You know how when we know you full of the word, we, we, you know how you know how when those around us in your proximity know you full of the word, we can see the joy on your face. We can see happiness on your face. We can see contentment in your life. We can hear from your mouth words of affirmation, words of assurance. We don't hear a bunch of complaining and whining and moaning and groaning and woe is me. You don't hear a bunch of that out of folk who full of word. Because if you're full of word, watch this, you will know that life and death is in the power of your tongue. And you shall eat the, watch this, and you shall eat the fruit thereof. You'll be the first one to get full on what you've eaten. Thank you, Jesus. If you got word in you, that word will be reassurance to you so you can be reassuring to others. Help me, Holy Ghost. Listen clearly now. Are you hungry enough? What you eating? If all you eating is a bunch of Facebook foolishness and what pastor did this and what person did that and watch this, you can tell where people are by the vileness they speak out of their mouths. It's some folk, all they do is complain against the church. It's some folk, all they do is talk about the preachers. It's some folk that all they do is speak against other member, members. Why? Because they haven't gotten the good word to understand that the church is the bride of Christ. The church, the very gates of hell shall not prevail against her. The church is full of grace and mercy. The church is the ecclesia of the called out ones. The body of Christ is full of love, joy, peace, long suffering, tempers. You don't know what God has done through the word because all you do is eat on the foolishness of the world. And all you do is complain against the bride. See, I can tell. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. I, I, I'm being real personal. Watch this. I'm being real personal. I'm being real personal. But watch this. There's sometimes when I like to eat certain foods. And, and, and there's certain foods that are high in onion or high in garlic. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. And you got to understand this from ingestion, digestion to utilization. Watch this. I ate a meal the other day and it was full of, um, um, it had a lot of garlic in it and some onion. And I love it because garlic and onion is good for me. But watch this, because I had eaten it and digested it, and my body had digested it properly, I could no longer taste it. But when I got around the leader, she said, what have you been eating? I'm like, what? I smell your breath. I said, you, you smell my breath? <laughs> watch this, because what was in me, watch, watch this, though I was almost immune to it because I had become accustomed to it through the ingestion, digestion, and utilization, and my body was processing it, so now it was coming out through my pores. Oh, God. It was coming out through my breath. Watch this. And so you could smell garlic on my breath when I couldn't taste garlic in my mouth. Oh, help me, Jesus. And so she said, you need to go brush your teeth. You need to do something because that garlic is cutting up. But watch this. That's how some of us live spiritually. We've been bitter for so long, we don't even know we're bitter, but it comes out in our stinking breath. It comes out of our mouths with what we say to people. It comes out with even how we compliment with a little sly shade on it. Oh, girl, you know you look good today. You ain't said that with joy in your heart. You really got bitterness in you. So though you're saying the right words, it's coming out in a wrong spirit. Check your diet. Ingestion, digestion, utilization. Come on, Mother Marge, you got to pray. I wish I could preach this morning. I ain't got time. I got to go to work. But I wish I could preach this morning. Go ahead, Mother Marge. Come on and pray us out of here because I feel like going in. Hallelujah. We praise you. We honor, magnify, and glorify your name. We thank you, glory to God, that we have come this morning. Glory to God, your word has gone forth this morning. I thank you, Father God, that we have come before you early in the morning. The teaching of your word. The word has 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 taught us this morning. Glory to God, we must change ah. our appetites. Glory to God, I thank you. I... Listen, y'all got to share this today for me. Please share this on your page. Please share this with somebody you know that's dealing with something. See, a lot of times we say we're being rejected. Oh, God. Oh, I hear you. A lot of times we say we're being rejected when we're really repelling people. Come on, somebody. Watch this. A lot of times, uh, God, I feel like teaching this morning. A lot of times we say we're being rejected when really we're repelling people because of our repugnant attitude. We say that people don't like us when really we're making ourselves so stinky that people can't deal with us. Check your diet. 
Because you may have garlic breath, onion breath, and don't even know it. You may be stinking, and you can't even smell it. That's why we got to be our brother's keeper. We got to start telling each other, hey, sis, check your attitude on that, man. That ain't right. Check your spirit on that, sis. That ain't right. Bruh, get your attitude. That's why we got to be each other's keepers. You think you're being, oh, I hear this prophetically. You think you're being rejected when really you're repelling. You're running people away from you. And you say people don't accept you, but that's not the truth of the word. The truth of the word is you don't accept yourself. And therefore, you're running people away from you. Come on, we got to get back to prayer. Jesus. All of us don't see the light. There's something wrong. Jesus, help us, time. God. Help us, God. Help us, God. Check us, God. Are you hungry? What you eating? Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Somebody need to take that. Listen, listen, Doramus, you need to go preach that. We're not just being rejected. We're repelling people. You got to share that word. Listen, somebody's got to preach that. I don't know if I'll ever get back to it again because I believe it's a moment of revelation. A lot of these folk who say they're being rejected, they're not rejecting. They're repelling. It's because of their own attitudes and their own behaviors because they're not eating the word and moving in righteousness. They claim they're being rejected when really they're repelling people. Nobody can't stand to be around them because of the way they are. Don't nobody want to be around you and you are always in the dumps. Come on, somebody. Get some word in you so the Lord can be the glory and the lifter of your head and he'll see more people come around you. Help me, Jesus. And Father, we magnify you now. We thank you, Lord God, for the intercession of overseeing Mother Ma more. We thank you now, Lord God, for our time together. We bless you, Father God, for this word, Lord God. And, and, and let me say this to my callers. Let me say this. I got to repeat this for my caller to on the line. I'm coming out of prayer just for a second to say this to you. The Lord just gave me a word. Watch this. Just gave me a word. And I believe this would be a word for us that a lot of people who are claiming they're rejected, they're not rejected. They're really repelling. They're not rejected. They're pushing people away from them and they're claiming rejection. It's because of their attitudes. It's because of the way they're behaving. It's because of the way they're treating people and then they claim rejection. They claim nobody likes them. It's not that nobody likes them. They don't like themselves enough to be lovable. Now, Father, we receive this word. We receive this word. Now, check us, Father God. Help us to get ourselves right. Ingestion, digestion, and utilization. Help us get ourselves right spiritually in Jesus' name and become palatable to the world around us, to become life-changing to them in Jesus' name. Listen, I record, uh, God, Jesus, listen, I'm, I'm going too far today. I'm, I just feel like going up today. Our recording number today is 2191, 2191. You can pick that up at 712-775-7099, 712-775-7099. You can enter your access code of 789111, then enter 2191 for today's reference number. Listen, please. Please like and share this today. I believe it will shift someone's life. Listen, I believe that's a prophetic word from the Lord. Listen, we need to post this. We need to post this. Listen, you're not rejecting. You're repelling. You're not. Re Everybody, please post this statement today. You're not rejecting. You're repelling. You're not rejecting. You're repelling. You got to understand that a lot of people think they're being rejected and they're not looking within themselves to see that they got garlic breath. They got stank attitude. They got nasty disposition and they expect folk to make exception and love them beyond their ugliness. We got to check ourselves today. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. I got to get out of this. I got to get that because I got to get to work. I got to get out of this. I got to get out of this. But listen, you can also pick this up in the impact app under um, the um, inspire section, inspire section. And you can also get this um, on our, um, our, 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 our video section, which is our YouTube channel. I love you. God bless you. I got to go because I got to go punch this clock. But I love you guys. Listen, y'all, please post that. You're not rejecting. You're repelling. You, listen, a lot of these folk claiming rejection. It ain't rejection. They're, they're repelling. It's their own attitudes. It's not the people around them. Listen, oh God, ingest, digest, 
and utilize. We got to get this word in us. I love you all. Get out of here. Be inspired. Be lifted. And let's go manifest. God, I wish I had some more time with you today. God bless you today. I got to go. I got to get to work. I love you guys. Bye.